diagrams are really, really refined, really well done. And th there are copious amounts of them as well. I mean, I've just got one here. This is a diagram of the uh, sort of cross-section of the human eye, um, which, as far as we know, might actually be one of the earliest uh, possible, the earliest diagrams known uh, of the human eye in any science. Um, and this, you know, this dates to 1308. Of course, in the beginning of the, uh, um, not in this one, but actually there are some quite famous Islamic manuscripts on um, blue vellum, which, which is this big, thick vellum rather than paper, dyed blue with gold, uh, full gold text. Really, this is just one leaf from a Quran that once would have stretched to over 2,000 pages um, in 30 volumes. Um, and this is one leaf from it. But it's a really, really refined, you know, it's quite a well-known uh, Quran, but it's extremely rare uh, on the market. We've sold six others, I think. Uh, in fact, those are the only six that have ever been on the market. Um, and um, most of them haven't been in such good condition as this. Well, they're characterized by this quite, um, this very, very strong what's called Eastern Kufic script. Um, which is this very angular sort of script which is, has these elongated elements and these quite sort of pointy um, s motifs sort of surrounding it and these, these, these extremely elegant lamb aleph um, constructions. There's a good one here. This region is one of the oldest historical regions in the world in terms of civilization, everything it's brought to humanity. So there's a long lasting history of, of arts and crafts and, and architecture. Then I think after the colonialist era, era, there was a real will for the region to understand their own culture, to understand their own means of expression. and. Um, and this is now growing and growing, and we're in a stage where our, our artists from the region, whether dead or alive, are still very undervalued and underappreciated if you put them on a global context. And there's a lot of room for growth, for evolution, for uh, conversations, um, and, uh, and I think more and more people are realizing the, not only the extraordinary talents from this region, but how radical, how avant-garde, and how different a lot of these artists were. Even you, as a viewer who's never seen his work, would you ever say this artist is from the Middle East? Not necessarily. He has such a universal language to his art. He, uh, he transposes a lot of political, social issues with 
mythological figures, mythological tales, with modernism, European modernism. So there, there are so many um, elements in his body artwork, which you don't really find in the 60s, 70s in, in that region.